Warner Brothers has two musicals coming out this holiday season, one being Wonka, which I have not seen yet at the time of filming this video, and The Color Purple, which is, of course is a new take on the beloved classic that so many people have as one of their favorite films of all time. This movie is a decade-spanning tale of love and resilience and of one woman's journey to independence. Dilly faces many hardships in her life, but ultimately finds extraordinary strength and hopes in the unbreakable bonds of sisterhood. This is directed by Blitz. It's Baz Wooly, which I might be mispronouncing that, I apologize. And it stars the likes of Fantasia Barino, Taraja P. Henson, Coleman Domingo, Daniela Brooks, Corey Hawkins, Sierra, Her, Holly Bailey, and so many more. And I gotta be honest, I've never seen the beloved classic. I know so many of you guys are freaking out, and I chose to not watch it on purpose. It's just one of those films... Again, we all have misses in our filmography, but it's one that I'm definitely going to watch before the end of this year. And I have to say, going into this, this being my first interpretation of the story, I was a little bit hesitant. Biggest reason I was hesitant is because this is a musical version of it. And the uh, musicals are just not my cup of tea. They are my least favorite genre. I am very picky when it comes down to them. Some musicals can absolutely blow me away and really surprise me, such as films like In the Heights. And then there's others that just really are not my cup of tea. As well, right now with it being for your consideration, I am seeing almost like eight to nine movies a week because of awards and stuff that I have to vote on. Honestly, in the last five days, I've watched over like 12 movies. Mentally, I am very exhausted and you have to truly impress me when it comes down to a movie for me to want to come home right after the screening and record my review. Honestly, at this point, I just want to go to bed. I have to say that The Color Purple is not just an empowering and incredible movie. It's a perfect musical. It's a perfect cinematic journey. It's a perfect journey to the cinemas it's it's a perfect in any sort of light where someone like me who is very picky with musicals who's exhausted who's just tired who went to the screening honestly thinking that they might fall asleep that's just because i'm tired and honestly a lot of movies recently i've been falling asleep through and having to rewind and everything like that and i didn't i woke up with energy with bursting of emotion being seeped into me with this story of all these characters and instantly falling in love with this movie falling in love with the performances falling in love with every single aspect of this and i am so excited to talk about the color purple again definitely can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section so make sure to leave your thoughts down below hit that like and subscribe button for more and without further ado let's start with the pros which the one thing i really want to talk about first is all the performances so first off fantasia barino i think is just show-stopping deserves an academy and nomination at least I don't know if she'd be my favorite performance of the year, but she's easily top three, and I just was really taken back by her performance. You get so into her storyline. You get so behind her back. You want to just push her, cheer for her, thrive for her, all these sorts of things, and that is not just because of the great writing, but it is because of her performance. You very much feel for this character. Taraja P. Henson is just excellent she's always great in every role that she's in Daniela Brooks I think this is the one that I could easily see winning best supporting actress at the Oscars I think this is between her and Avine Rudolph who was excellent in the holdovers as well I'd be happy for either of them but there's something about Brooks that I first off did not recognize that this is the same girl from Peacemaker who I thought was great in there and such a standout but this movie just lets her shine, lets her come onto the screen in such a fantastic way. She has some of the best musical numbers in here. One of my favorite songs in here, Hell No, is a, just a classic in the making. And I, I love that so much. But her just embodiment, her soul of this film, and how important her character is to the main character of this film and her journey itself is one of the things that really took me back. And it's one of the things that I just could not stop loving. Alongside that, Coleman Domingo plays very much the antagonist of this story. And I think Domingo is having just such a year, with whether it's with this film or Rustin, which I thought he was incredible in Rustin, but he is scary. And it just shows his strains, where if you go and watch Rustin and then you go to this movie, how incredible of an actor he is in every single role. Corey Hawkins, been saying it, 
I do not understand why this guy is not an A-lister. Like, anytime he is in something, I instantly get more excited for ever since I saw his performance in Straight Outta Compton. This guy can do no wrong. I've watched, like, basically everything that Hawkins is in because I'm just obsessed. I think he's a great actor and very underrated. And in this film, he's very great as well. Of course, yes, Holly Bailey is stupendous in here. She's staggering. She's great for the small role that she has. And honestly, I wish she was in here just a little bit more. But I understand for the context of the story, how big her role was going to be. I'm just being a little bit selfish after seeing how great of a job she did in The Little Mermaid earlier this year. I really just go back to Fantasia and Daniela and how incredible their dynamic was. And truly enough, them to absolutely deserve an Academy Award nomination this year. They, they were just incredible. But, you know, the performances can be great. But what about the direction? And that's where we go to Blitz, who I've never seen anything Blitz has ever made before. All I got to say is you can do no wrong. There is some incredible directing in here, specifically in a lot of the different set pieces. And one thing that I think I'm very in particular with musicals is that sometimes it feels like the story's held together by strings at times when it comes down to moving from emotional point to emotional point. And I think some, talking to others, had some issues with that in this movie. But for me, all those emotional points that maybe could be lacking and not having straight dialogue with are held up within the musical numbers, where the musical numbers are the pieces that actually move the story forward to the next aspect. And while it is a decade-spanning epic, this tale of time, it moves at such a great pace. And Blitz does a great job, not with just the pacing, with the movement of the movie, but going back to those musical numbers, a great job with each one. There's certain ones that need to be a little bit more low to the ground, just characters in one scenario, belting their entire heart out. And there's others that it's okay to get a little bit creative, like such as one that's like on this vinyl disc. All these moments just add up to some of the biggest parts in the most empowering moments of the movie, such as one that takes place at a dinner table that honestly had me on edge but honestly had me wanting to sit up clap and cheer and speaking of clapping and cheering i went to a screening there's people there from press there's people there who are public who won tickets to go see the movie early it's been a while since i've had an audience cheer clap clamor laugh engage with one another and make it feel like a celebration in the theater and when you go to the movies I mean, that's what you want to experience is a solidified event that feels like while you might not know everyone in that theater, you might not even know a single soul, you feel connected by one movie. And I think the color purple, at least this version, again, I haven't seen the original version. I was not born yet, and I also just have not watched it, but this is a movie that connects people in so many different ways and will connect experiences through so many different people with what's going on through this movie. No matter through the depressing times to the emotional moments, there's always something to be made up for the last thing. And by the very end, you'll feel empowered, you'll feel inspired, and you'll be an emotional wreck. And the direction by Blitz, and specifically this core moment, when you walk away from the entire film, and I walked away kind of a sobbing mess, actually having tears come down my eyes to the powerful ending that happens here. I just overall loved a color... I just overall love the color purple and I was taken back. All that can be said because of the writing, that can be said because of the directing, that can be said because of the acting, that can be said because of all the technical stuff, like the musical numbers, the cinematography, the editing, the score, the music, the sound, all that stuff. Everything comes together. And it's a movie that just again is about humanity. And it's one that really is an extraordinary tale that I was very happy. And I honestly, I'd probably be saying the same thing if I had actually watched the classic, but there's sometimes, again, just a story that can be told here that surprises me in the way that it was told in the musical format. And I'm so happy that we have this movie now. Because honestly, believe everything you've heard about the color purple, which I think there's been a lot said about the color purple. And yes, it's all fantastic. A sweeping triumph that will pour your body full of emotions. As someone who can be pretty picky with musicals, even I have to admit how damn great the color purple is. And honestly, by the end, I was in tears. This is a surprising movie for me because I'm just, again, not a big fan of musicals. But man, it is one that I highly recommend. And with all that said, I'm going to give the color purple an A+. I think this year, when it comes down to four-year consideration awards, some of the films this year have been some of the best that I've seen in a long time. Here in filmmaking has been very topsy-turvy. Sometimes there's 
there's been some excellent movies and then others there's kind of been just a lot of in the middle of the road but the color purple is definitely not any of those make sure to leave your thoughts down below guys hit that like subscribe button and of course until next time stay classy